by Dad. I want to walk you through uh, some of the tips and tricks I'm using for uh, submitting transactions on Ethereum, whether I'm using DeFi applications, minting NFTs, or simply transferring tokens. These are some of the ways that I am uh, optimizing for saving on gas. The reason I thought this would be helpful is I've noticed a lot of people, um, including Meltem Demirs the other day, was uh, uh, tweeting that she was uh, frustrated with manually replacing dozens of stuck transactions due to poor gas estimation. So this is a, a common issue because uh, choosing a gas price is something that like applications or wallets like MetaMask aim to uh, make it simpler for anyone to be able to just, you know, get an estimated gas price and submit their transaction. But the truth is, is it's a little more dynamic. And so if you understand how the gas is priced and how to optimize for saving, uh, it can be very helpful. Um, first thing I want to just call out is what's changed with EIP 1559 or just what do you need to know about EIP 1559? And I would say it's really just the fact that you have control of two different variables unless you use the automated recommendations of MetaMask. So first there's the base fee. This is set by the network. This is like the ticket to ride. You cannot uh, get a transaction confirmed unless you pay that base fee. And that's again being set by the network according to how congested uh, it is. You can see here an example. If the network usage exceeds 50% capacity, the base fee automatically increases. If network usage falls below 50%, the base fee decreases slightly. So that's, that's one part of it. And that, and that is the ether that is ultimately burned. So this is also why people are so excited to be tracking on ultrasound.money. You can see all the ether that's being burned. You can see the leaders in terms of applications or protocols that are burning the most amount of ether, in this case, over the course of 24 hours. The other part of EIP 1559 that I, I think is throwing a lot of users off is this idea of a tip. So I'll just read exactly what it says here. If you require your transaction to be processed quickly, EIP 1559 would allow you to add a tip on top of the base fee. Unlike base fees, tips go directly to miners who would thus be incentivized to prioritize transactions that include tips. Great. So this is a, a, uh, a tip uh, that helps me to further def differentiate my transaction from others and hopefully get it confirmed. I don't normally pay more than two GUI, sometimes up to five GUI for this tip. So here's where those numbers come into play. So if I was going to submit a transaction, in this case, I would be sending, this is a dummy transaction. I'm sending zero ether from my wallet to my wallet. If I go here to um, estimate, uh, and of course I'm doing this on a day when gas prices are very high. So there must be some new NFT project that's driving the price of gas up. Um, if you look at these two numbers on the bottom, these are the ones that I will manipulate. Uh, so the max priority fee is the tip. So this is this. And this is what I normally set myself to two way. You can set it as high as you want. In my experience, setting it higher than five way tends to be a waste of money. Um, it just doesn't really help to differentiate. You can even see MetaMask warns you that this is potentially too high. So I normally leave this at two, so that's easy. Then the max fee is, what's the maximum amount of uh, money I'm willing to pay in Ether to, tr to confirm this transaction? This is, this is the number that I actually focus on changing. So if I go to something like gasnow.org, you can see that it's saying that if we set a transaction and just look at this as the max fee, this is the max total amount of money with the base fee plus the tip that I'm, I'm willing to pay um, that will get my transaction confirmed. If I set it at this or higher, if I set this max fee at 301 guay or higher, or if I already had, it should confirm. Um, I use this religiously, this does work. Uh, 
you know, in, in almost 99% of, of my uh, transactions, if I submit the transaction, the max fee at this or higher, so maybe at 274, I would submit it at 290, um, I can confidently confirm the transaction. Now, I normally aim to use this when the gas price is, uh, you can see here, uh, this is like a chart of gas prices according to hour and day. Um, more recently, over the last few hours, gas prices were well below 100 guay. So that's normally when I try to transact or use DeFi applications. Um, right now, I, I wouldn't send this myself. So I see that the max, <clears throat> that the recommended gas price according to gasnow.org is 217. So I'm gonna, like, if I wanna account for the, the tip, being two, I literally just put two plus uh, this this 217, so I would go 219. And I, and I tend to normally put in more buffer so that it's much higher. So like, let's say it was uh, something like 240. And the, the numbers scale down as, as you get below 100 guay, below 50 guay, I play the same sort of game with myself. Um, if fast says 50 guay, and I'm going to put in a tip here of 2 guay, then I put in 52 guay. If the fast gas price says 100 guay, then I'm going to tip 2 guay still. It doesn't really matter in most cases. Um, tips b between 1 to 5 guay seem to get it done. Um, I will submit a transaction of 102. So that, that's as simple as I keep it. The alternative to this is you can use the ga gas estimations on MetaMask, which I, I think these are very difficult to automate. I mean, this is difficult for anyone to automate. It's just that MetaMask is one of the most popular wallets. And so if you look at max fee, the tip, the max, uh, <clears throat> I'm sorry, that was max priority fee, the tip, and then max fee, the total amount, including the tip and the base fee. So that's base fee plus tip, this is the bigger number, this is the smaller number. Um, then, uh, oops, let's go back to that. MetaMask is attempting to recommend to you with low confidence, medium confidence, or high confidence. And you notice uh, here in this case, it's uh, maybe in 30 seconds, here's in under 30 seconds, and in under 15 seconds. So they're putting the max fee up very high. This is at 433 guay. If I look here, having done this myself a lot every day for the past year, um, including since the EIP 1559 upgrade, you know, I can tell you that this gas price is just way too high. I would not use that 479 guay. I would rather just look at this, add it to the two guay that I normally tip, and I'd say, all right, I need to submit a transaction that's 228 guay or higher. And given that the, this is constantly fluctuating, I, I'm gonna give myself some buffer there, so I might say 240 guay. But this is the number. So tip plus whatever this is, is, is what I'm aiming for here. One last note on this. If I don't account for adding the tip plus whatever the recommended fast gas price is here, if let's say this is, um, uh, let's see what the next number is here. It's 217 right now. Let's say that I set the max fee here at 217. I'm not accounting for the fact that there needs to be a tip in there, the two guay. So max fee, minus max priority fee is, I, I believe, I'm, I'll be looking for someone to correct me, I believe in MetaMask uh, by setting max fee and the max priority fee, the assumed base fee then is just 217 minus two is 215. So if the base fee is actually higher than 215, my transaction is not gonna confirm. Okay, so to summarize, if I'm going to transact on Ethereum, again, doesn't matter if it's a token transfer, DeFi, NFTs, whatever, I'm gonna to go to the estimated gas fee, 
I'm going to edit this. I'm not going to screw around with the gas limit. I can keep it really simple, but I'm very likely to be overpaying. And I actually think this is contributing to some of the high gas prices. I think that people are just using high and you notice 315, 320. But if you look here, and again, I'm, I'm, I, I'm using this as a source of truth because I use it every day, multiple times a day. I could have paid a lot less. So I'm going to manually set this myself. I'm going to ignore the recommendations on MetaMask and I'm going to always set the max priority fee to two. I won't set it any higher than five. And, and you can see over here on the right, it estimates in dollars based on the price of Ether, how much you're paying. That is just the tip. So there's a, a two way tip for the miners. And here I'm going to uh, choose the gas price according to this. So this is currently 167. I'm going to put in 200. That's based on, I know that two plus 167 is around 169. And that is well uh, below the max fee I'm willing to pay of 200 guay. So I might overpay in this case, but I am saving a lot of money in comparison to the show recommendations on MetaMask. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save. All right, 1246. We're still at 100. Okay, so we're at 1246. We're still at 191 as the recommended gas price. I think this should go through. Let's try it. Actually, let's open that transaction. Oh, there we go. Confirmed. So confirmed in 37 seconds. Now, let me show you a transaction that doesn't confirm because I, I paid too low of a gas fee. So I'm going to send another dummy transaction. I'm going to send zero ether in this case. I'm going to edit the estimated gas fee. I'm going to ignore these recommendations. Currently, if I choose high, it says you got to pay 336 guay. Whatever that is, I don't like it. I'm going to use two guay as my, my tip, the max priority fee. And then the max fee, I'm going to base off of this. So it says 237 guay, 230 guay. Again, it's going to keep going up and down. I'm going to choose, let's say, actually, let's choose 190. So this is well below what this is. In fact, actually, let's put it at like, let's put it at 200. So 200 max fee minus the tip two is an assumed base fee of 198 guay. Unless the, the network uh, has a base fee of, of that or lower, I shouldn't be able to confirm this transaction. So actually, let's potentially lower it here to 14. Maybe it's dropping suddenly. All right, we'll hit. Actually, let's set it a little bit lower just to make a point. Set it at 180 guay. So 180 is the total uh, I'm willing to pay. 180 guay, which is about $13 in Ether. So I hit save. Hit confirm. All right. Let's let the, this is just a matter of the ether scan nodes uh, picking it up. So sometimes it can take a, a minute or so here. Oh, there we go. We dropped to 177 guay. So this, this might, we are just at 214 and now we've dropped to that. Let's see if this confirmed. Okay, so <clears throat> gas prices now have dropped to 158. So unless unless Etherscan isn't picking this up. There we go. Okay. So this should confirm because we submitted a transaction that is, you can see here, this indicates this is an EIP 1559 transaction. So that's right here, this, and then, oh, there we go. It just confirmed. So we were well below the 180 guay threshold and there it is. You can see I was willing to pay a 
max fee per gas, I paid 180 guay. The max priority fee, the tip, was two guay. So there we go. Uh, so I, I'm confidently submitting and confirming transactions. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Um, if you enjoyed this, don't forget to subscribe at defidad.com. Also, if you are building uh, the next great DeFi NFT Web3 application or protocol, um, please contact our team here at fourthrevolution.capital. Uh, and we'd love to hear from you at contact at fourthrevolution.capital. Thanks.